So you may have been reading about atrial fib and atrial flutter. And when you look at a heart rate on the monitor, you are probably like not sure what you're looking at. Well, what you're looking at it, when you look at the heart rate monitor, you're looking at the ventricle rate, which is the ventricle R waves here. So we're looking at a six second strip. We're counting this six second strip of atrial fibrillation. Again, we can't count the atrium because the atrium is quivering. See this fine line? It's going around, I don't know, 350 to 600. Can't count it, it's too fast. So we're looking at the ventricle. So this one's one, two, three, four, five. So our ventricle rate here is 50. So our heart rate monitor would say 50. Well, you've probably heard and read about what RVR is. And so when somebody's in an atrial fibrillation with RVR, that is a rapid ventricular rate. That means that this rate is going very fast. Typically, if the rate, if the RVR is going over 100, then you're gonna lose your cardiac output. So you're going to have a loss of your atrial kick. And what it does is it basically is your atrium that is quivering is passively dumping into the ventricle. And if it is dumping in too fast and the ventricle is squeezing at a very fast rate, it doesn't have enough blood to perfuse the rest of the body. So you have to slow the heart rate down. And so when we give people beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, things to slow the heart rate down when they're in an atrial fib, we're trying to control the rapid ventricular rate. So this is the rate that the ventricle is contracting. So that is what's really important. Now it's very important to understand your atrium. Of course, when it quivers, it's creating blood clots and you have to be on anticoagulants, but our treatment is obviously to slow the ventricular response and that's why you lose your cardiac output. So hope that makes sense and now you understand what RVR means. Follow me for more tips.